<clears throat> and okay, welcome to another Eagle Pass. Uh, this time we're going to learn how to render the Eagle 3D image. Download and uh, install Eagle 3D. Um, that's your job. Um, figure out where that is. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, load in your board. I rip up the uh, uh, ground layers because, you know, so when it looks like this, uh, just do rip up uh, next because I just prefer the way it looks. Uh, you can also switch off, you know, other parts that you don't want it to appear. Then go to file, select run. Uh, go to the Eagle 3D folder where you installed it. I installed it inside the ULP, Eagle 3D, and run 3D for one ULP. Hit open, and it's going to bring up this box. First thing you want to do is change where it copies these two because I this is where I want to put them here because it would put it in the board path. I don't want it in the board path because then Poveray doesn't find the include files and you have to add them in. Don't want to do that. Okay, next thing you want to do, unknown parts and user assigned models because uh, it's not going to know them all. So we're going to go through and actually add them. Um, now you can send the uh, the board type, um, uh, camera position, uh, you know, this is the uh, camera uh, position in space. This is the camera target. So it looks from this point to this point uh, and you can change these around to get it to look at a different place. Uh, some light settings, you can look through those on yourself. Um, I added in 121 for my silk screen, and then you can change the uh, colors as well if you want. Let's, uh, let's have a blackboard uh, with uh, some gold wires. Why not? Let's have uh, gold. Let's have gold everywhere. Uh, holes black, uh, background gray, silk screen. Let's leave that as white. And forest green for some god knows why reason. Uh, and once you've done that, that's set up. Um, so the next thing to do is hit create POV file. It's going to ask me to overwrite because I already have one. Yes. Okay, now what it's looking for me to do is assign um, models that it knows about to components I have. Uh, battery, I don't have one for. Um, I don't care anyway because it's on the back. So I'm going to hit assign no model. Okay, now it's looking for the 0603 cap. Um, so I'm going to go here and search for a 0603 cap so let's see what it has in 0603 hit search and here we are chip array 0603 SMD capacitor 0603 that one looks good so let's click that and assign it and now it knows that that 0603 cap is now there and it will do that for any others too so now it's asking me about the uh, the LED so let's uh, let's see what it's got in 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 diode, uh, let's see, diode disk, search the macros, uh, diode disk, and so here's all the different types of diodes it knows about, um, diode SMD, diode lid, nope, let's sort by this again, scroll down, just scroll these different types, there's a 3mm, those are uh, through hole, so we don't want those, let's keep peeking, there's one here somewhere, there we go. So diode do 2.5 millimeters, that's going to be perfect for it. So then we assign that by OK. OK, now we get to pick the colors. Uh, I'm using red, and uh, set the transparency level. Uh, and this is uh, uh, raise up, I think. Aben is, uh, is going to be raised. So hit OK, and it's going to ask us for all the other ones too. So let's see, chip lead. I'm going to make that one also this guy. So okay, okay, same again, it's going to keep doing this, and there's a lot of LEDs in this one. So we just keep clicking through them, because they're already preset, and keeping the LEDs the same color. Okay, okay, I'm clicking okay, it might just be slightly out of the view here, I don't think it is. Clicking okay, 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 okay. And also you have to have Poveray installed as well, so make sure you have Poveray installed. Uh, you won't need it till the next step. Okay, so we keep going through, that's LED 16. Uh, so there's quite a few more to do yet. Because there are a lot of them on this board. I should know, because I had to write them. Okay, here we go. Another nine. Get a little pattern, I feel like that bird. Back and forth, I need some dubstep playing, I think. 
Um, and 26, 27. If you hear a jump in the music, it's because I cut this part out. And there we go. Finally, LED 30. Okay, so the switch, uh, let's change the switch to, so let's search for what kind of switch we've got. Switch, oops, not stitch. Switch, search Poveri Macro. Uh, let's look for a push button switch. There we go. 6x6 six six black, blue, green, red. I oh, know, let's, let's be funky. Assign that one. Tactile switch again. Same one again. And same one again. There are three switches on the board. There are four lights. I don't have a buzzer, so and sign no model. That's what happens when you do one, yeah. And then with the MFL, let's go for MFL 28, which I think is in here already. There it is. So, but there is no MFL 20, and that's that'll be good enough. So okay. So now we created a pop file. Next to, step to do is to load pop ray. And there we go, pop ray. I have turned off the annoying sound in uh, Povre, which is somewhere, there is a sound, something or other, somewhere, there it is, sound settings, turn those off because they drive me nuts. And then I'm going to open a file, and there's my file, see I can play around with them earlier, and here's the script that it uses. So if we go up here and hit run, it'll render it, and there it is. Okay. So there's a couple of things you want to change about it, um, so let's just close this off. First of all, let's turn off the water. And the way you do that is look for this, so to off. Okay, and those LEDs are really tall as well. So let's look for the LEDs, scrolling down, and we see them here. So this is where it creates the objects. So there's the LEDs themselves, the LED 1 through 30. And these are the types, so this is like an object that creates the LED of 2.5 in red at uh, that height. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to um, translate it down in the in the Y, I think, like that, and then run it again, automatically save, so it doesn't keep whining at me. And there it goes. So that one's now moved down. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the sniffles. Okay, the next thing to do is actually I'm going to search and replace this. Now I also have a little issue with poverty in this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go to click it off, and then I'm going to go to replace, and I'm going to paste what I want it to be here, and what it is there. So that should be okay. I'll leave those two on. I'll put a preserve case on, but I think this is where I'm going to have the issues, and then try uh, find next, replace, replace, and it didn't do it this time, so. And uh, we're just going to go through and replace each of those. There we go. And we run it. And hopefully no errors. And there we go, the LEDs are a bit lower down, so that's nicer. Okay, let's change the rotation of the camera. Uh, you can do that inside the, um, the script inside Eagle. I prefer it to do here. So let's see, what should we do? Let's change the cam look around a little bit. Um, so we rotate the PCB. And we want to bring it up. Um, okay, so I set that to minus 90, and that's going to rotate the PCB around, and it's turned off the environment too, so there it is. Um, we can also just change this a little bit, Let's see what we got here. Okay, and that gives us a nice, a nice view of it. Oh, it hasn't really picked up on the colors that we set, I'm not really sure why that is. Um, and these headers are slightly the wrong place too. Um, so we, we, we can go in and fix those as well. But that's basically how you do it. Um, and you can rotate this around on all kinds of other ways. You know, let's just try a different thing. That's that's the camera position. So now I've made it straight down. And of course it needs to pull away from it now. So uh, let's see. I'll go a little higher, I guess, than that. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Uh, it's 220. There we go. And now it goes straight down. Um, and that's kind of what the board looks like, actually. Especially when M made his special versions of the uh, uh, switches, because we actually use a different kind of switch for that. So, so the only issues here are these two here. Um, 
we have to figure out what was going on there, but otherwise it's a pretty good analog of what the board actually will look like. Next step is just to throw on the uh, AA mode or make a different resolution, and you can run it and look a bit nicer. And off it goes. I switched that off to my um, edit things, and there we go. And now you can go through here and look at the things I changed here and play around with these settings. Uh, Poveray will is a, a compiler basically, so it, if you do errors like say a comma here and hit run it'll make this really loud beep if you haven't turned it off. Oh, of course that wasn't really an error, leading zero. There we go. So it's highlighted it and told me that there's an error. Um, and you can probably do stuff like this too. Haven't tried it, but let's see. And the LED one is now blue. So you can do that too. And also change the translucency value. The AA is still on, so it's taking a little while to render. And there it is, so it's, it's much more opaque now. Um, so if we wanted to make it a little bit fancier, let's turn off the AA for the moment. Anti-alias. And so it goes a lot faster. Now you can see through the LED like, a lot nicer. Um, a bit higher, let's see. And again, back to the opaque. So, uh, let's try the one. See what it looks like there. I haven't really played around these settings much, but there you go. Got the nice colours on there. I don't think you'll find any LEDs in that colour, but good luck. Put that back to the way it was. Red. Um, watch out for it when you do search replace it. For me, it was replacing the lowercase red with uppercase red, but uh, even that with the preserved case on. Um, and here's the package for the tiny, here's the, uh, the one for those jumpers, so we can look at those jumpers, and uh, uh, it's these two here that are in the wrong place. Um, so we can actually move these two. I'm not sure if it has a, an X2, let's try it. So there it goes. Those are now twos instead of threes, and they're just one down. So we have to change the translate portion uh, to a different area of the board. Maybe it has a four as well. <laughs> Didn't know which way it's going to go there. It's going to go up, okay. Yeah, so that one kind of works, that one doesn't. But the best thing to do is just to change the translation amount. And that's the translate here, and that's X, Y, Z. So just figure out where to move it to. Um, I'm not going to do that, because I've already done it. And then you can do a final render in a nice big resolution, and even do animations and all kinds of stuff. But that's how basically to get a simple model done in uh, Eagle 3D with Puffery. And no annoying noise. Except my voice. <laughs>